All right, yeah. I love that. Like, that was a good way to fully close the book and have some closure for Ethan where he gets to meet his daughter all those years later. And for her to have some closure on actually meet her dad and start Rose's story. Because I assume that we're going to be uh, uh, continuing... Like in the next Resident Evil, is probably going to uh, we're probably playing as Rose. If I had to guess, unless they do a whole mix up and we just switch to uh, someone else entirely. But yeah, I like that. That that was great. I am actually looking up to make sure here. That that uh. Mercenary thing is actually that multi is a lot of multiplayer stuff that I don't care about. Actually, that's not, uh, that's not actually a story thing. Okay, now it's just some. It just adds a few characters to the thing, so yeah. But yeah. Like I said, I I thoroughly enjoyed that. Like the powers and everything. I can't say that there I there has been rumors of uh the next Resident Evil game being announced later this year and coming out next year. We probably won't see it unless they add a VR component to it, which they've been doing, so like we play the main story in VR. So it'll be a long wait. <laughs> but yeah. That's really all I gotta say. This was fun. And I, what's funny is I was going back and forth of whether or not to play this or not, because I'm not a big uh, like I said in the VR, I don't, I've never really liked flat screen Resident Evil. I actually thought flat screen Resident Evil was boring. Like I tried playing Zero and the very first one and didn't have fun with it. VR, it, it does make things a lot better. Like that, like I, like with how much I like this DLC, it makes me wonder how much uh, more I would have liked if it was also in VR. <laughs> you know? But, uh, I just don't know what else to say. Like, it was fun. Oh, when I'm playing it, I think this does finish up the October videos. I think this was just enough to finish through October, so this is the last time you see the. <laughs> special intro I've made for these. At least on this, on this part, and then... Unless I still have a few more days left I need to get through. I don't fully know yet. But, uh... I did like how, whenever they were showing uh, uh, Ethan, he was constantly had his face blocked. Because he was basically, for a while, face packed. I guess... I think if you play in third person, the third person mode that you get, you, you can unlock with the uh, Winter's expansion. I think you can see his face. I'm not sure. I haven't checked it out because, like I said, I literally picked this up for the VR mode and that was it. But we all, we all know, as I said, I don't like leaving games unfinished. At least ones that I've been, enjoyed. I know that, <laughs> that I don't I think they I think they announced there was the rumor that the next Dragon's Dogma is going to be using the uh, Resident Evil engine or re-engine, I think is what it's called. Makes me more excited because my favorite RPG of all time was the first Dragon's Dogma. While well, everyone else in my grade was playing Skyrim, I was playing Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> like Skull Skyrim and those things. Which we will eventually see that too because I do, I do own it on the, on the system.
it looks like that's that. Yep. So, all right. With that, I'm going to end this here. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you, I'll see you in whatever comes next.